everyone, Neil from Modo here. On this episode of the Energy Academy, I'm going to be giving a brief introduction to battery energy storage systems, or BESS. The first thing to note is that energy storage systems do exactly what they say on the tin, store energy. This means that they don't generate energy by themselves. They charge, which means they import, absorb or collect energy from the grid or from a generation site, and then store that energy to discharge at a later point in time to provide electricity or other grid services when needed. Imagine a sponge that absorbs water when it's cheap and then releases that water when it's expensive and you get the general gist. BESS has a key part to play in ensuring homes and businesses can be powered by green energy even when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. For example, the UK has the largest installed capacity of offshore wind in the world. In theory, BESS offers the ability to capture this energy and deploy it when it's most needed. These batteries are electrochemical devices and several chemical compounds are either in use or being explored in BESS systems, but the one you're probably familiar with is lithium iron. When we talk about the size of BESS, we tend to think about three things, rated power, energy capacity and duration. However, this can be quite confusing as the term capacity or installed capacity is often used interchangeably with rated power. That's why you might hear some people talk only about megawatts in duration when referring to the size of a battery. For the purposes of this video, this is what we mean by each of those three terms. Rated power is the maximum amount of power a BESS asset can charge or discharge at any given time and it's measured in megawatts. When we talk about a 10 megawatt BESS asset, what we're saying is that it can discharge 10 megawatts of power instantaneously. As mentioned previously, this is sometimes referred to as capacity or installed capacity. That said, when we're referring to energy capacity here, we mean the maximum amount of stored energy that a BESS asset can hold, which is measured in megawatt hours. Duration here simply refers to the length of time that a BESS asset can discharge at full power for. Therefore, if that 10 megawatt BESS asset we just mentioned has an energy capacity of 10 megawatt hours, it can discharge at full power for one hour. If a 10 megawatt BESS asset has a capacity of 20 megawatt hours, it can discharge at full power for two hours. To think about it another way, imagine a bucket with a pipe at the top and a pipe at the bottom. The amount of water that the requisite pipe can let in or out instantaneously represents the rated power. The amount of water that the bucket can hold represents the capacity. And the amount of time it takes for that bucket to empty or fill up represents the duration. Here at Modo, we're obsessed with battery energy storage, and so you can find a shed load of further video and written materials over on our platform. I'll see you there.